Hey Logo Designers, today I'm super excited to share with you a brand new feature coming to Logo Package Express 3. This is a feature that customers have been requesting since the very first version of Logo Package Express and I can't wait to share it with you. The new feature that we are revealing today is the ability to add unlimited logos to your exports. You can set as many logos or custom logo variations as you want and I can't wait to get started on showing you how it works. If you look at the Logo Package Express extension window, you'll see that not much has really changed. We still see logo, logo mark, and logo type. But the big difference here is that we now have an empty component window that says Add Component. And when you click Component, you get a brand new window where you can set a new component or logo variation. I have eight logo variations here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Add Component until I have all eight slots filled up. So as you can see, they all say Untitled, and you have the ability to customize the names of your logo components right here in the Logo Builder screen. You can customize the default names if you don't like logo, logo mark, logo type, and you can also input the names for your custom components. So I'm just gonna go through and relabel these according to my grid here. So I have the logo, the logo mark, and the logo type, but the next thing is a stacked logo type, and then I have a stacked logo, a vertical logo, a centered vertical logo, and lastly is this centered logo. Okay, so now that I've done the work of setting up my components, all I have to do is go through and set them one at a time. So I will grab the logo, much like you would in version two, and click set component. Now one major difference you're gonna see right off the bat here is that we automatically do all of the color variations when you set the component as opposed to waiting for you to set all the components and then making them. As in previous versions of the extension, you can set the other logo parts from your master logo artboard, or in version three, you can also continue to set logos from your final artwork document. So I'm going to start by setting them inside of our working document. I'm gonna set the logo mark, and then I will also set the logo type from the working document. Are you ready? This is when we start adding custom variations. So we have this stacked logo type and we can go back to the logo demo grid. First, I will set this stacked logo type. And as you can see, it's going to get added to the grid with all of the rest of our logo variations. And now I'm just gonna go through and set the remainder of those components. Here's our stacked logo. the vertical logo, the centered vertical logo, and finally we have the centered logo. So hopefully you are just as excited about the possibilities that this new feature opens up as we are. Thanks for watching.